Pop figures have been around a long time, and I've kind of been looking at them like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, I would get that, I would get that, but I never pulled the trigger on any of them. So why did I start now? Not necessarily because they're part of Don't Starve. I don't only play Don't Starve, people. Uh, it's because they came with skins, and as you can see behind me, kind of getting things going. I still have work to do. I have the shelves, and I have every single poster ready to go. I just got to get them hung up. Got to get the shelves installed, and then we can start displaying the many things that we happen to be seeing here, or things that you don't see, that I still have. So, that's why I kind of went for these guys. Or is it? No, it's not. The real reason why I got these, they come with skins, everybody. And Wilson comes with the Tesla Coil Lantern skin. I haven't even seen this in game yet, and I already know it's going to be the best looking thing in the game. But Beard, let's remember the name of your own dang series and actually open up the box. These didn't come in an actual Amazon box. No idea why. I've been getting some really weird Amazon box shipments lately. Uh, and again, this didn't even have one. So, going to be opening this one. Let's slide this boy back up. I don't think they're going to pop out, so let's get them up. Ooh, looking mighty schnazzy there, Wilson. Probably keep the box. Looking mighty schnazzy there, Wilson. And Chester, I, you know what? As much as I dis, you know, like the hoppy friend, he ain't looking bad at all. But let's get him out of there in a little uh, plasticky wrap. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, I'll tell you what. And they stand up mighty fine too. Pop. Chester, man. You know what? Yeah, I, I, I am not displeased at all with how these guys look. I think they look great. And the best part too, Wilson has a backpack on with the eye bone in the back too. That is, that is just a nice touch. Very nice touch. And his torch, he can move his head. That's, I don't know if all pop figures are able to move their head. Nothing else. Ooh, I'm going to break his neck for you. He can move his head. I don't want to move him too much. Because I don't know if that's actually meant to do that or not. Uh, Chester looking good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Very, very nice, man. Very, very nice. And you know what? With us staring into the deep, dark abyss of their eyes, it just seems appropriate for Don't Starve, doesn't it? But it ain't just about the figurines, everyone. Those skins are where things hopefully get really interesting. So I think it's time to make sure Wilson has a place to stay forever. Or he can just fall down. That we put Chester in his place. And that we enter the constant to find out. So, I'll meet you there. Now that Chester's out of the way, why not grab a seat as we showcase ourselves some of the lantern skins. Beginning with the default skin here. The lantern has always been a staple in Don't Starve when it comes to light sources. But honestly, it has always lacked in the visual side of things. And as time and skill has increased for players, other options just began to overshadow the tool at hand. That is, until the festivities rolled around and we were graced with the Winter's Feast Lantern Skin. A truly joyous sight for the eyes. With its wonderfully soft blue glow and bloody animated snowflake particle effects while it's on the ground or when you're running about, it became a favorite of mine almost immediately. Plus, at the end of the day, it just looks far better than the original ever did in every way, shape, or form. But ladies and germs, allow me to introduce you all to the wonder of the Tesla Coil Lantern Skin. Oh my freaking goodness, it's beautiful. It's one of those newer additions to the game that just looks like it doesn't belong in Don't Starve, but who gives a flippin' crap when you are now wielding an item that not only emits purple light from all angles, it produces electrical waves throughout it. Seriously, this may now be the best looking skin in the entirety of Don't Starve. It's shockingly glorious. However, I am sad to report that it does lose its purpleiness at night, which I just think is stupid, seeing as we do have a capability of colored lights already. 
but don't fret too much. You don't lose all the color when you're down under, so have fun rolling up to the ruins with your purple rain. So there you have it, everyone. Wilson with his buddy Chester and his amazing Tesla coil lantern skin. That thing is beautiful. And I am going to get a lot of use out of it, especially because more cave guys are coming. And we are entering the ruins as early as tomorrow, most likely. So I cannot wait to see you there. If you have got your hands on some of these, I hope you are enjoying them. I hope you enjoy the skins that come with them, too. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.